little about forming a conventional bridge. It would not be long before you realise that conventional bridge has to be adapted because of the position of the cubal. Here, we're quite close to the cushion rail, and for me to put my hand on the table, I'm very cramped up. There's no way can I do a realistic backswing. So we need to bring the hand onto the cushion rail. A lot of beginners make the mistake of having it on the rail there and try to play from there. The problem with that is that we're raising the butt too much. There's a very real danger of off-centre striking and as a result of that, swerving the cue ball. Much better to put the cue on the cushion rail and form your bridge that way. Here you'll notice that the cue is quite parallel to the cushion. Place your cue on the rail, middle finger and thumb against the cue, wrap your forefinger around it, and we've got quite parallel with the table, and we've got a good solid bridge. Some players prefer just to use the middle finger, wrap the thumb around the cushion rail and hang on to it, then wrap the forefinger over the cue, and that way we've got a good solid bridge. Two ways of doing a similar thing. The real essence of it is we're secure and we can keep the cue parallel before we play the shot. When the cue ball is hard up against the cushion, there's a very real danger of lifting the butt too high and swerving the cue ball, or dropping it too parallel, you can miss cue by glancing over the top of the ball and miss cue that way. Experience will teach you how high you need to be or how low you can possibly get. The closer the hand to the cue ball, the higher you're going to be. Good idea sometimes to bring the hand back, drop the wrist, now I can get virtually parallel, but making sure I don't miss cue. There's a nice balance to be found, and only you as an individual can find it. The balance between having the hand there, bringing the fingers back and dropping the wrist. Experience will teach you what is best for you as an individual player. When you're playing over a ball, some players prefer to have all fingers on the table so that they're not moving around. Good, solid bridge. And to play the shot from there. Other players, to play the same shot, would prefer, again, to tuck these two fingers out of the way and supporting the bridge at the back end. So from there, they're pressing down with all four fingers. They're nice and comfortable. We can play the same secure shot. The bridge is nice and stable. And so long as we don't move around, either one is okay. When we're playing a shot along the cushion rail, what we can do is have two fingers on the bed and two fingers on the cushion. Here, we can keep the cue fairly parallel with the bed. Other players prefer to have three fingers on the cushion and one finger on the bed. Whatever you prefer is fine. The one I prefer is what we call the loop bridge. We've got two fingers on the rail, the middle finger is on the bed, and a form a loop for the cue to run through. Now that is really secure. When I showed this bridge to a, a well-known professional, actually, he didn't like it because he couldn't see the cue. All we did was play a few frames using nothing but the loop bridge. As soon as he got used to it, he was quite happy to use it in this position and indeed now uses it in his matches. Mm -hmm.